Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. With this week's headlines, here's Editorial Director Jeff Ranke. Yeah! Jeff's on the road this week, and while I'm at the helm, we're talking self-healing, laser-resistant chip technology, BMW's new co-pilot, interactive subway maps in the Big Apple, and thin ribbons used to power big batteries. Traffic counting is being brought to the masses with the new Traficom. Typically, municipalities were tasked with calculating the amount of traffic on a particular stretch of road. It often resorts to extremely expensive devices and data not publicly reported. Now, the creators of Traficom hope to change all that with a relatively simple and affordable device that just about anyone can use. The device works through the use of a pressure-sensitive hose that records the number of vehicles that cross it onto an integrated Arduino computer. The numbers are then displayed from within a weather-resistant clear plastic housing. The Traficom's stored data is retrieved by simply plugging it into a computer through a USB cable. Users upload the data onto the website, which provides a full data picture of the region. The designers recently launched a Kickstarter campaign with plans to make the device more durable by integrating an aluminum body, more secure with an attached locking loop, and a lithium polymer rechargeable battery for up to 72 hours of use. Making electronics materials more damage resistant is in great demand. Now a team of scientists at Caltech have made significant advancements with new chips that are capable of better withstanding wear and tear, power fluctuations, changes in temperature, and load mismatch, even laser infliction. Instead of a material that restores conductivity to specifically affected parts, their goal is to find a better outcome in a shorter amount of time. Through the use of integrated sensors, the chips can monitor temperature, power, current, and voltage, which is transmitted to an ASIC, which then evaluates the overall performance of the chip in response to outside factors. The chip is then able to work out an optimum state for the available actuators. Through this new method, the chip is able to accurately recognize and respond to a multitude of failures. In order to ensure this level of self-healing, extra power amplifiers are needed, which are on the cutting edge of integrated circuit technology. Self-healing, you say? Well, isn't that special? BMW and Continental are teaming up to develop new technology for self-driving cars. Using what they call electronic co-pilots, they expect to turn European roadways into highly automated driving systems by 2020. Continental and Mercedes have already produced the adaptive cruise control and emergency braking assistance systems as well as the research project called Habit that developed a highly automated assist system for navigating through traffic jams and construction. BMW has shown their experience in this area through the Track Trainer, a self-driving track car which uses a high-resolution GPS and video data system to navigate fully autonomously. That vehicle was even equipped with biosensors that can tell if the driver is having a medical emergency and then navigate them to safety while calling for help. BMW has also successfully tested a self-driving car that can obey traffic laws in a mixed vehicle setting. The vehicle used a 360-degree laser radar, sonar, and computer vision systems using cameras that detect outside movement. With the company's combined experience, BMW and Continental are hoping for fully automated systems as soon as 2025. The sooner, the better. Women drivers. I tell you. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority in New York City is set to introduce interactive HD displayed station maps for their subway system. Better driver than you, the high-tech displays will provide simplified directions for users with real-time service alerts, on-the-go touchscreens, will display valuable information to commuters, such as train arrival countdowns, outages, neighborhood maps, and other special alerts. The kiosks will take the place of digital billboards while not in use, which will help to fund their operation. The interactive technology of the new subway maps will allow users to input their destination and the screen will show them simple directions with multiple mapping visuals. The information will be synchronized through a broad network which is built on a flexible platform. This will allow for third-party developers, who are all better drivers than Melissa, to join the group in creating their own apps and customizable software. Really? 
A team of material scientists at the University of Rice have found a new material that allows for more efficient lithium ion storage. The material is a hybrid of ribbons of vanadium oxide and graphene. The material could supply high energy and power density for use in electric cars and other demanding devices. The ribbons are thousands of times thinner than a sheet of paper. Yet they hold the potential of other current materials since they have the ability to charge rapidly. The cathodes were able to be fully charged and discharged in under 20 seconds and retained more than 90% of their original capacity after a thousand cycles. Hmm, a decent performance. Wish I could say the same about Jeff Standen. Well, that cuts deep and wraps it up for this week's report. I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Update.